Hello everybody, this is Mad Dwarf from FreeTrainingVideos.com. It's 8.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, August 5th. And after a brief move above our 113 mark from yesterday on the S&P 500 ETF, uh, even a move up to 113.30, we had the European Central Bank leave rates unchanged, even uh, as kind of things are shoring up a little bit on the economic front. And also jobless claims came in higher than expected, so that uh, damages us a little bit here. So we've now come back down below 113, tried to hold that uh, for a good time this morning, and now we're broken, used it as resistance, all the way back down to 112.50. So that's a fairly significant move. If you look at a higher time frame, you can see where we're holding up. Nice rising 200 MA on the 15-minute chart, and on a 60-minute chart, uh, that's the 50 MA roughly. So we're trying to hold this mark right now. Uh, depending how much pressure there is on the markets as they open, we'll be watching this uh, what will be perceived as a gap down to most people in the world, and we'll see how that fills back up into the 113 mark. That'll be a significant area of resistance overhead, and I'll look for 112 area support through here. Um, good stuff. 111.50 looks relevant to me, along with this uh, high base back here and a breakout in the 100 MA, and also 111, this gap fill, and wherever the 200 MA is at the time of that it gets there, if it does. Otherwise, on the way up, go out to a daily chart. I zoom in now, we're still going to be fighting this 113 area, which again, at least we're above the 100 MA now, and this swing high back here. Above that, uh, fairly free and clear up to these round numbers, and especially this swing high at 115. So that could be an amazing thing if we uh, get a chance to hold up here in the face of any news like this. So good stuff. That's what I'll be looking at, and I hope you have a great trading day. I'll talk to you around noon Eastern to see how things are shaping up.